There are a few components on a diesel engine that are more important than the injectors. Having the responsibility of providing fuel to the engine means if they fail, your engine is effectively no good. We'll get into the topic today in the Amsoil Garage. This video is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder and today we're talking about diesel injectors. When it comes to injectors and injector technology, the one thing we've all noticed is that it has changed over the years. We've gone from mechanical injectors that used to squirt once per combustion revolution to Huey injectors that used engine oil to build fuel pressure that was electronically controlled and sprayed once per revolution to now having a common rail system with an infinite supply of 35,000 PSI fuel at the ready and an injector that is commanded electronically that squirts somewhere between four and seven times per combustion revolution. That's a huge difference in technology and the needs of those three injectors are greatly different as well. We're gonna focus on the common rail injector, which has now been around for nearly 20 years and it has been refined over that time. These injectors are super small and the clearances are very tight because you want it to fire so many times. Because these injectors get slammed back and forth and that little pintle has little surface area to fire into the seat, so something needs to buffer that blow. Fuel itself is not enough. When diesel fuel went from higher sulfur to ultra low sulfur, immediately trucks started to suffer injector failures because there wasn't enough control over the amount of lubricity that was found in the fuel and these injector pintles would just slam against the seat over and over and over and they'd wear out and not seat anymore and you'd have leaky injectors. To remedy this, the industry changed a little bit on fuel and implemented some regulations on lubricity, but it wasn't enough. They're not enough to protect the fuel pump. They're not enough to protect the injector pintle. It's why you should be running fuel additives in your diesel vehicle every single tank. Additives protect injectors from two things. First, additives protect it from wearing out because you're adding lubricity to cushion that blow. If I were to repeatedly punch this toolbox, my hand would eventually start to hurt. But if I were to put a cushion between it, I could probably punch the toolbox for a much longer time. The lubricity of the additive is a cushion to protect the injector from destroying itself. The second issue usually seen is deposit formation inside the injector. Because the injector is in the combustion chamber, it will always develop deposits. That fuel gets burned in there and hot spots, cold spots, and deposits form. The nozzle has all these little tiny holes in it, and if those get plugged, the fuel pattern changes, and then you don't build power, you don't get good fuel mileage, and you don't get starting like you normally did. The deposits people used to care about were the deposits that formed on the injector nozzle. However, those are relatively easy to clean. You put a chemistry in your fuel, that fuel squirts through the nozzle on a combustion cycle, and it cleans those holes out. When we went to common rail injectors, the pressure went up, the temperature of the fuel went up, and those deposits migrated their way inside the injector, not on the nozzle, but in between the pintle and the injector itself and the seat. Any little disturbance in that three micron clearance can cause issues with the injector and how it operates. Those deposits come from heat, but they're also from the fuel type. People who run biodiesel have that problem compounded but when ultra-low sulfur diesel started being used, there's a particular material to strip the sulfur from the fuel. Now, that material cannot be removed from the fuel any longer, and that material is what causes deposits in the injector. You need a specific chemistry to be able to remove that deposit. Amzola has a product with two types of detergents, one that'll clean your nozzle up, and another that keeps deposits from forming inside the injector. It also adds the lubricity that you need in order to protect the injector from destroying it. Amsoil recommends using this additive on an every tank basis. If you don't, your injectors are left unprotected. It's not like a gasoline injector that's indirect and out of the combustion chamber where you just clean it up every once in a while. Gasoline suffers from different problems than diesel. If you put additives in your tank one day and not the next time you fill up, you don't have any lubricity in your fuel. The pintle will eventually destroy itself. 
You don't have any detergent in there either, so deposits can form. It's why you have to do it on an every tank basis. You want your injector to be functioning properly and to be clear of any deposits because the injector's job is all about pouring fuel. You only have a couple milliseconds to squirt fuel into the combustion chamber, and that's also why you see a number of high horsepower diesel engines using larger injectors to pour more fuel. No matter the size of your injectors, the idea is to keep them doing their job well, and that means using additives like Amsoil's Diesel Injector Clean to do so. I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and thanks for joining me in the Amsoil Garage.